Okay, guys. Ugh. Got something new today. As you can see, your bus is a mess. That's because it's under construction. Oh. Back there on the ground, we have EcoFlow Delta Pro, but up here is its replacement. This is our new solar system cabinet. I'm building it right now. On the bottom here is the part where I need to open this box up and show you what's in the box. Inside this box is gonna be all the power for this solar system. So what we have here is a whole lot of power. Let me get this box open. It's like adhesive or something like that. Okay, there we go. Oh, and then we got the old box within a box situation. Okay, I'm not gonna take that out. I'm just gonna open it right here like this. Okay, so what we got in here, as you can see, is a Golden Mate battery. This is a LifePo 4 lithium iron phosphate battery. Oops, I just broke the, I just broke the styrofoam. Okay. Guess you can't return it. No, this cannot be returned now. Oh my goodness. Okay. That, my friends, is the Golden Mate. LifePo 4 200 amp hour battery. That thing is a beast. Look at that. That is awesome. Holy smokes. This is a 200 amp hour lithium battery and it's going to be going down here on the shelf. I'll show you what it's going to look like when I have it installed here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in here like this and I'm going to tip it on its side like this. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Okay, and it's going to be situated in this battery box, something like that. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Man. I like think, a glove? Yeah, I think this battery box is going to fit it perfectly. Wait, there's more. Hold on. That's so cool. It has handles. It has handles. <sighs> okay. All right. Okay. All right. So we're not just doing one 200 amp hour, we're doing three 200 amp hour Golden Mate 200 amp hour battery. Oh, oh, that was very heavy. Holy smokes. Bruh. Okay, so we already got the one over there. I'm gonna crack these open and show you what all three of them are gonna look like. Whew. I'm out of breath, babe. That's a, is that your package opening knife? Yeah. That's how you fillet a package? Uh-huh. So we didn't go with just 200 amp hours. We didn't go with 300 amp hours. We didn't go with four or even 500 amp hours. We went all the way, baby with 600 amp hours of lithium power. <sighs> okay, take this down, put this over there. I can go over there. Put that anywhere. Okay, this one is gonna go right here. <sighs> okay, be like that. Oh yeah. What do you think you could run with this battery? Everything. I mean, we're going to have the power to run air conditioning, all the lights, and charging devices you could possibly want. But the main thing is that this system is going to be able to run air conditioning all through the night, no problem. And we're going to have the solar panels to back it up. So it's going to be monster freaking power. How many, how much battery space did you have in the bread truck? Well, when I first switched to lithium, I only had 210 amp hours of lithium, which one of these batteries is almost that much. But I did upgrade to 400 amp hours of lithium 
which would be two of these batteries. So this one is gonna be even bigger with 600 amp hours of lithium off. I have it the wrong way. It's gotta go this way. Yeah, but okay. So batteries are gonna be configured something like that. Okay, and that's our lithium battery bank. Freaking awesome. So these are gonna be wired in parallel. All the wiring is gonna go up the side like this. Then there'll be a shelf on the top here. And I'm gonna insulate this entire compartment because these don't have battery warmers. I want to be able to uh, charge these in cold temperatures. I may even slide some battery warmers in here inside of the uh, insulation. So I left room in my box to put two inches of foam board all the way around. See, I'm gonna have to put like a little sheet of something in there to make them sit flat. Mm -hmm, the top is slightly, yeah, the type, top is slightly wider than the bottoms. So a little sheet of plywood or something will we'll, uh, take care of that difference. But that's pretty much what we're looking at, man. That is our battery bank. And then all of, from here up, will be all of our solar equipment. Um, it's gonna take me a while to finish this, so I will come back with another video and tell you how they work when it's all done and all hooked up and working. The model on these is the LFP12200. Stands for uh, lithium phosphate, lithium iron phosphate, uh, 12 volt, 200 amp hour. In other news. In other news. Look what I grew in the garden. <laughs> Got some maters, got some back -ons. Last harvest. With these batteries, I just wanna go over the specs from their website on what these batteries are capable of. Like I said, they are 200 amp hour batteries. They claim to have high temperature and low temperature cutoffs for charging and discharging. So if they do, this is an extremely affordable battery for the size it is and the features that it has. Uh, right now, this is being advertised for $619 from the Golden Mate website. So for a, a battery that has low temperature cutoff, that is a really competitive price. They're usually a little bit higher than that. Um, there are cheaper ones, but they're really like, you don't really know. My channel is not the type of channel that cuts these batteries apart. I'm actually going to be using them, reviewing their performance. So all three of these batteries are staying intact. I'm not gonna open them up and see if they have low temperature protection and all of that. But I just wanted to mention that. Also, I am sponsored by Golden Mate and these batteries were provided to me at no charge. So when you're watching this video, consider that this is a sponsored video. They claim that they have a uh, life cycle 4,000 cycles on these batteries. So this is potentially gonna last you for many years to come. I would imagine you can get 10 years out of a battery like this with no problem. Where lead acid AGM batteries, you're gonna get two years, maybe three, four if you're lucky. They have an extremely long lifespan. That's the best thing about lithium. When you look at your price per duty cycle, it is exponentially better 10 times better than what you get with lead acid batteries. The price of these have been coming down. There is no reason to buy a lead acid battery for this type of application anymore. You're just gonna get 10 times the life out of these that you do with a lead acid battery. These batteries support 4S, 4P configurations, which means you can link four of these together in series and four of these together in parallel. These batteries come with grade A cells inside and a two year lifetime warranty. Two years lifetime warranty. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. And they come with a two year manufacturer warranty. So when it comes to batteries that are not uh, temperature protected, which these say they are, or have warmers in them, that's not the end of the world. You can still do something about it. Here I have built a completely enclosed foam insulation box, two inches of foam on each side where the batteries will be stored inside of there. So you can uh, still take a battery that maybe is not temperature protected, 
doesn't have warmers in it and add your own warmers what i'd like to do is on this side inside the box but put a uh, tank warmer for like an rv tank one on the other side it'll go on these two surfaces here and here put a little sheet of metal so it distributes the heat evenly throughout the batteries and that may be just enough to keep it working in freezing climate and uh, I don't know man I think this is going to work out really well isolate the batteries from the really cold weather and these batteries should perform excellent with the foam insulation all the way around it it's getting cold <sighs> Yeah. They get that power up and running. It's definitely getting cold, and we have to make uh, arrangements so that we're ready for this cold weather that's coming. It's coming fast. So, um, just to give you a little idea of what this is going to look like, this is the door for this cabinet. It's going to go on just like that, pretty much. You won't even know it's there. have to trim that door a little bit and then for over here this is gonna be closing off the top just like that and then I'll have some doors that cover on the side as well and we're gonna be building a bench off of this to take up that space and then there'll be a bench on this side as well for the other side of the bus um, but it's all gonna be uh, coming together within the next week here so uh, stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> I will give you an update really soon on how these batteries are doing once they all get hooked up and all of that. So, uh, yeah, keep watching and I will catch you in another video real soon, right down the road.